Well, hello everyone. This is Senior Pastor George W. Reese Jr. And I welcome you again to From the Desk of the Pastor, where Jesus Christ is Lord. And on behalf of my wife, Pastor Mary E. Reese, we just invite you to join in with us and listen to this word of God that God has given me to inspire you on today. Amen. And once again, here I am around somewhere to eat. This is in our dining room. <laughs> but you know, it's good to break bread around the table, the bread of life. And this bread of life is the word of God. And I'm just encouraging you to invite Jesus into every aspect of your life. And when you sit down at the table or anywhere, how often do you spend time talking with God? And I'm talking about in your prayer life. How often do you spend talking with God? Do you spend some time every day talking to God? You know, he's concerned about you. He care about you. And he loves hearing from his people, his children. We are the children of God. Just think about that. We are somebody special. When people don't know who you are, they don't know that you're a child of the king, amen. And God is just doing things for us right now. He's protecting us, he's blessing us, he's giving us our health. He even given our next breath. He giving us our next plate of food. <laughs> you know, our God is just so good and, and merciful and kind to us. And when nobody else loves us, you know what? God loves you. And you can sit down and you can talk with him you can fellowship with him, not just at the dinner table, but anywhere you go, day or night. His lines are never too busy to hear from his children. And the thing is, he always answers his children, pleads, they're crying out there. And just to hear you say, thank you, I love you. How often do you tell God, oh, just thank you, God. I just love you for just being God. Too often we just want to ask for something, but God is like our parents. You know, they love to hear, the parents love to hear from their children, not when they just want something, but to hear from our children, amen. And just to converse, to get to know one another even better. And the way that you get to know God better is for you to talk to him. He already know all about you. He knows your trials your tribulation. He know your victories. He know when you're happy. He know when you're sad. <laughs> he know when things are really on your mind. And when people are not around, and even when people are around, <laughs> the best one you can talk to is God because he won't lead you astray. He won't tell you false stories. He won't give you unnecessary grief. He just right there. God is love. God is love. Not love is God, but God is love. And he loves us so much that he takes care of us, even when we don't know how to take care of ourselves. When our thinking is not right, when things are bothering us, and now I'll be honest, <laughs> you know, some things really bother you. Some things you just seem to can't get them out of your system. And I just encourage you on today, just learn how to give everything over to Jesus. He's a burden bearer. He will carry our burdens for us. And I'm not talking about the physical things like your grocery sacks. He's not going to carry that. He's not going to carry you in and out of the house, but he with you every step of the way. But I'm talking about the things that are weighing heavy on our mind right up here. You know, sometimes, you know, things are weighing so heavy on your mind. I don't know what it might be. It might be uh, work. It might just be the everyday stress of living. It might be because you're going through a spell of sickness or you're concerned about the loved ones. Oh, it's just so many things that we worry and care about uh, in our spirit. And Jesus is saying, I'm right here. <laughs> Give them over to me. He says in 1 Peter 5 and 7, he says, cast your cares upon me for I care for you. Jesus cares for you. When nobody else does, 
Jesus does. So God bless you and God keep you until we come together again. Bye now.